The hackman is a figure that has permeated various cultures and personal accounts as a mysterious and ominous entity. Typically described as a tall, shadowy figure wearing a wide-brimmed hat, this entity often appears during episodes of sleep paralysis, although sightings have been reported by people who were fully awake. The hatman is often perceived as a dark, foreboding presence that incites intense fear in those who encounter him. The descriptions of the hatman are remarkably consistent across different reports. He is usually dressed in a long dark coat or cloak and wears a hat that obscures his features. His face is often shrouded in darkness, making it difficult to discern any specific details. Some people have reported seeing glowing red eyes, but this is not a universal characteristic. The hat man is usually silent, merely standing and watching, which adds to his eerie and unsettling nature. Due to the considerable attention this phenomenon has received, movies about it have been produced, and the Hatman Project, a dedicated blog where people may discuss their experiences, has been launched. Victims typically describe feeling utterly paralyzed with terror and breathless, as if fear had frozen them from the inside out. While the shape of the frightening figure occasionally varies, from story to story, the strained vision is remarkably consistent. It's the tall silhouette of a man wearing a hat with a brim. It usually appears in the middle of the night while you're in bed. Not only are dark apparitions that awaken while you're asleep frightening, but the hat man is possibly the most eerie of all the shadow people that comes to visit you at night. It has been found that there are various classes of shadow people and this scary man in the hat belongs to one of them. The hat man has been seen all over the world and based on the accounts of those who have shared their experiences, it appears that he has been there for some time. Though there are many ideas regarding their existence, ranging from time travelers to aliens, it is apparent that these shadowy apparitions are not human. Nevertheless, no one is quite sure what they are or where they originated from. One of them is thought to be the hat man, who is over six feet tall and wears a hat all the time despite being incredibly mysterious. Scary tales about the hat man suggest that he emerges while you're going through emotional upheaval or distress and that he frequently watches you sleep. Everyone who has seen him claims that, like other shadow people, the hat man is entirely dark. The hat that hat man wears is obviously different. In certain sightings, it appears as a top hat, while in others, it resembles a fedora. He always looks to be at least six feet tall, and while many people are unable to make out what he is wearing, some claim to have seen vintage attire, a long trench coat, or a cape. Although the hat man's face is normally unrecognizable, several of the people he has seen have reported that, in contrast to other shadow people, he possesses radiant red eyes. Additionally, rumors have it that Hat Man wears a gold watch that is fastened to his belt with a chain and that he occasionally glances at it. People claim to see the Hat Man in their bedrooms right before they go to sleep or right after they wake up. With reports of seeing the Hat Man in that state of not awake, not asleep, all around the world, the figure has officially entered the annals of sleep paralysis lore, leaving many scientists perplexed. He usually appears to people during one of the three stages of sleep, falling, sleeping, or waking up. However, he has occasionally been spotted awake. He merely observes most of the time, arching over the bed and projecting a very menacing aura. It's believed that you sense his utter evilness and desire to harm you. He might intentionally create that ominous atmosphere to generate dread in his subject, which he can subsequently capitalize on. He uses two more popular ways to observe his prey, sitting in a corner and gazing through a mirror. Those he's just sneaking on, though, might be lucky. Every now and then, the hat man strikes people viciously. Either way, by using the door and going through it, rather than just vanishing, when he eventually departs, he contrasts himself further with shadow people. In terms of his nightly visits, 
Individuals experiencing sleep paralysis are frequently visited by the hat man. He can command other shadow figures to terrify you, just like he would order the old hag, a frequent guest during sleep paralysis, to sleep on your chest. Although he can appear to anyone at any moment, patterns indicate that he frequently surrounds unstable people, much like poltergeists that feed off the intense energy of suffering to materialize. In addition, several people who have had near-death experiences have claimed to have seen the hat man who appeared to be welcoming them to hell. Those who alleged they were attacked by the hat man recount incidents in which they were choked or jumped on, and they also report feeling tingling or burning in their scalps. It is stated that shadow people frequently act in this way and the hat man is content to observe. He also stays longer than most shadow people as evidenced by the times he has been seen staring at people in the mirror, leaning over them as they sleep, or just lounging in the corner grinning sinisterly. Maybe it's scarier to watch from a distance rather than to attack someone, especially because a lot of people believe Hatman has a solid form unlike other shadow people. And although shadow people usually merely vanish when it's time for them to go, there have been instances of Hatman floating above the ground or making his way away. A person is normally able to tell when they are being observed, and the hat man's stare is no different. Many have also claimed to have seen a strong dark vibe coming from him and that this made them realize right away that he was incredibly malevolent and probably planned to murder them. Some people have the impression that the hat man is taking pleasure in and even feeding from their terror. However, it's probable that people identify Hatman with their negative emotions since they are usually already experiencing fear, anger, or another emotionally charged state because of whatever negative event is in their lives. There isn't really a clear explanation for why he appears to so many individuals and whether he is indeed wicked because he appears in so many various contexts including sometimes to multiple members of the same family. Coast to Coast AM was the outlet that first brought the topic of shadow people to the public in 2001. Many people brought in sketches of what they had seen and anecdotes about their personal encounters with shadow people after the show. In 2008, author and weird encounter aficionado Heidi Hollis reported that there was a shadow person that she called Hat Man who was frequently sighted and that people from all over the world claimed to have seen him as well. The hat man frequently appears in settings where negative emotions are present, such as homes with abused or feuding family members or those with depressive relatives. There are many who think the hat man is a demon dispatched to hell to gather individuals who are going to die. Some believe him to be demonic. That may be supported by a story that Heidi Hollis heard from a German soldier about hat man, who she asked about his identity and was told scratch an old alias for the devil. Hollis also related the tale of a man on the verge of suicide who woke up and discovered he was in a hospital with the hat man around. When he woke up, the hat man reportedly vanished quickly, but not before stating, I almost had you. It was unexpected that so many people would report having encountered hat man or shadow people, but the resemblance of accounts has made the eerie black figure very well liked and credible in the eyes of many. People who have seen the hat man have posted stories about their encounters all over the internet and one individual has even created a website devoted to gathering these reports. Scientists hypothesize that a disrupted REM sleep cycle could be the cause of sleep paralysis, a type of sleep disorder. This is a perfectly normal physical condition that can be psychologically scary. The person experiencing it is fully awake but immobile. Because they are caught in a state between sleep and wakefulness, individuals may also experience hypnagogic hallucinations in which they see figures like the hat man or shadow people. Naturally, these hallucinations can be extremely frightening and they become even more so when the individual experiencing them is immobile. The question of why so many people experience the same unsettling apparitions remains unanswered by scientists. 
Sleep paralysis is not a complete explanation for shadow people and the hatman experiences, as many people report experiencing these entities while awake as well. Encounters with the hatman can be deeply traumatic. People often report feelings of intense dread and an overwhelming sense of malevolence emanating from him. These experiences can leave lasting psychological impacts, leading some individuals to seek therapy or counseling. Despite the fear he induces, the hat man has become a subject of fascination in popular culture. He has been featured in horror films, books, and even video games. This widespread interest suggests that the hat man taps into deep, primal fears shared by many people, making him a compelling and terrifying figure in contemporary folklore. Have you ever had any experience with the hat man? If so, Comment below to share your experience.